Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Brad Roven. I'm Chief of Nephrology at Ohio State University, and I was one of the core team members that helped develop these uh, ACR guidelines. The guidelines were undertaken by the ACR because our last set of guidelines from the ACR was many years ago, and there's been so many marvelous developments with approved drugs now uh, that we felt it was time to really put a new guideline out there and then make this actually a living guideline that we're going to update each year because there's so many new developments happening in the area of lupus nephritis that we're, will be likely to benefit our patients. My overall takeaway lesson of these guidelines is really this idea that we are promoting the use of triple therapy, which means addition of one of the newly approved therapies to traditional therapy right from the start. And the, the benefit for patients, the way I see it, is that these drugs have both immunologic effects and non-immunologic effects that protect kidney survival beyond simply bringing the lupus nephritis under control. And this is really key because really what we want to do with patients uh, and individuals with lupus nephritis is preserve kidney function really forever, but as long as possible to avoid the need for dialysis and transplantation. In terms of implementing the guidelines, this is really step one uh, today, which was a marvelous discussion with experts in case-based orienting everyone to the new guidelines. The guidelines uh, will come out in public publication form uh, in the hopefully not too distant future and then the idea would be through organizations like the LFA and the ACR the National Kidney Foundation is we as individuals who have developed the guidelines as well as our colleagues bring this to the community and work with physicians in the community and academia to understand how to implement these guidelines so our patients can actually benefit from this uh, new information. Thank you so much.